Welcome everyone to Crypto Files Episode 5. I am blind. Jesus, I am not blind Frankenstein. You can tell I've been drinking. I'm Jesse, along with me as always is the Killbot. What's up, people? I feel like I fudged that as bad as that one time when we were doing the commentary and I was so drunk. I'm not drunk now, but I was so drunk that I called us the wrong show. Do you remember that? Yeah, you're a fudger. But uh, we have a bit of a special show tonight. We said oh. we we're going to start doing commentaries, and uh, why don't you tell us about it? Because that's tonight. Why don't I pull up this on IMDb? And I'll, yes, I'll please do. Go old school. This is this is kind of an artsy film here from 1953. We have Neanderthal Man. Yes. Is it Neanderthal? Neanderthal. I don't know if it's the Australian pronunciation, but the guys from Mysterious Universe always said Neanderthal, so I don't know. Hey, really maybe we'll know learn that. tonight. Maybe what? Maybe we'll learn how to say it tonight. Maybe we should ask Bigfoot expert Kwani Lapsaritas. You need to. We need to get some of his literature. I want. Like, I have half a mind to message him randomly on Facebook and be like. Um, would you come on our show? Because like, I think it would be fascinating to talk to him. I really do. I feel like you like saying his name. I think I do. Cause be, like, my first question would be, is it Lapsaritis or Lapsaritis, sir? I don't know. But here uh, we go. Can you, can you, oh, What's, go ahead. No. I was going to say, can you imagine if, thank God we didn't, but if somehow that old... We're going to redo this, everybody. But the old... Um, Sweet oh. Prudence commentary saw the light of day. Oh, we probably, yeah, well, yeah. I wish I had that, though, just to listen back because of my outburst at the end of that movie. You know, people, and... Uh, we are going to redo it, though. Host in the world. I have found that movie is readily available. <clears throat> you did tell me that. If you know where to search. I'm going to have to... Little indie, indie movie sites, and I do not, I'm not big on torrents or anything like that no, but, but it's a no, for some reason these type of films are it's kind of encouraged to download maybe um so just 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 google sweet prudence yes and you'll be do. take you right to it and some other fine quality films as well along it's, with that it stars Cal kelly's uh water bottle or cool. thermos i mean oh yes and Clad, Cher, uh, i think a lab yes Okay, so what movie we're going to be doing tonight? We're going to be doing a commentary on The Neanderthal Man, 1953. I have never seen this. I don't think you have either, right? No, I just heard of it the other day. Somebody shared something on Facebook, and I, I think I just put a picture of this Neanderthal Man in our group. And, you uh, put, I think you put the trailer. Is that what I remember it making, I remember making Katie watch it and tell me what was going on. And she just had to see this film, right? Like She was like, oh my god. No, but I was like, I found this on YouTube. I'm like, we're gonna watch. We're either gonna watch this or the start of Motocross next week. Oh, there you go. I'm bound and determined to get her to watch Motocross. And yeah, you know, it's, it starts next week, and she'll be here next Saturday. So. Yeah, if our listeners don't know what we're talking about here, I, this man is now a moto head. He I am like I'm cross, full. I'm full in. I, I'm full in, and I never thought I would be. Like I figured I'd try and be like, oh yeah. I don't know what it is about it. Like I can't even describe why I'm obsessed now, but I'm obsessed. Well, there's a chupacabra. I think maybe that's why there is a El chupacabra yes. on the racetrack. So, so tell us about Neanderthal, man. Here we go. Here's you a quick plot summary. It's Professor Groves. I guess we're going to have a Professor Groves in this. And he's an expert in prehistoric life. Mm -hmm. And he proves his theories with an extract that'll regress a cat to a saber-toothed tiger and a man to a Neanderthal or Thal. What is the IMDb rating on this movie? Ooh, let's, let's check it out. 4.4 out of 10. That is not as bad as I thought. And uh, the cover of this film, I guess this would be the DVD box or show or the lobby poster. Is awesome. We got a, we've got a, some attractive women screaming and pawing at the air, and a Neanderthal man ravaging a woman. And like I said, the other women are just kind of pawing at the air. 
And the tagline is here. We're gonna we, you're gonna love his tagline. All right. Half man, half beast. He held them all in the grip of deadly terror. That's yes. From his woman, he claimed as his own. Yes. Jesse's bestial lust. No, this is Neanderthal man. Is he a very tall creature? Because I feel like he should be like hulking. I don't know. I can't tell. He's kind of Lord okay. Striker in this picture. Could you imagine if he was like five foot one? Like, I'm coming to get you, sir. I'm five foot one. What? 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 Oh. No, I'm not. I'm a little taller. I don't know why when I did that voice though. I I think it's because I was freaks. I was kind of sounding like um. Oh, the little guy. Hans. Oh, Hans. You know the weird thing about that? I know we're getting off topic, but What's up? I was reading the trivia and they said the reason the romance was kind of downplayed between the two little people is they were a brother and sister acting duo. Oh. So, like, that, I always think about that now when I watch this movie, that movie. It makes the lovemaking scene kind of awkward. Yeah. Yeah, that's, a, yeah, that's kind of weird, but, you know. Depends on where you're from. Speaking of, of one more, speaking of that, what? The comment you made earlier about where you find sweet prudence, there's a lot of that kind of video, it seems like, anymore around. Like, I know it's not real, but it's... I don't know why the Russia, like, has this thing for grannies. I don't know. I mean, I've heard. There's. I mean, that... And I've read outraged articles and wrote a few. It's there's a lot of, like, incest stuff, it seems like. The hell? Did you ever notice that? Where are we going here, sir? What were you talking? Our rating ahead? just got. We're just we're just going into depths here. Well, you're talking about grannies, so I figured. Well, they don't have to be related to us. No, I know, but okay. <laughs> anyway, all right. Um, What's if up? you're gonna watch this with us, we're gonna probably count down from three or something, then hit play. This is available on YouTube. So it's not like we're, you know, doing anything. We weren't the ones to upload it. I don't think this anyone owns the rights. <laughs> I assume this is in the public domain. I would think so. If not, we're sorry. Don't yeah. send the Neanderthal man after us. I feel like Amazoning this later and seeing. Uh, not that I'd. I don't think I'll want it, but if it, I guarantee you, it's probably on DVD. It's probably on a Mill Creek set somewhere. I, apparently, it's on uh, Scream Factory TV. I'm seeing that here on YouTube as well. So yeah, someone might own the rights to this. Yeah. Okay. Um. I hope we don't get any YouTube ads because that really throws everything off. Yeah, and we're not going to be watching it on the same format. I think you're going to be watching it on a computer, and I'm watching it on my TV. So there may be a little pause, but I don't we'll, think it's going to matter a whole lot. No, nah, we'll make it work. So if you want to w- watch this movie and uh, along with or, us, or even like watch it. And then list like yeah, watch it with us or just. I'm hoping it's entertaining enough that you could listen to the podcast like separately, or or just pop it in your little phone and and listen to it when you take your little gal out on Lovers Lane and yeah. and listen Hope- to our voices and you know who knows what might happen. Hopefully the Tex Arcana. I forget that guy's name. The we'll talk you through it. Oh. Oh what no. The- you know who I mean. Oh yeah, the yeah, I hope he I hope he doesn't get you. Speaking of that, God, we're getting off topic. What? I really like the uh remake sequel that they made to that movie that's name I can't think of right now. <laughs> the town that dreaded Sunday. Yes, I like the new one. Here's a here's a little factoid. Director of the original Town That Dreaded Sundown, director of the Legend of Boggy Creek. Which we are definitely gonna do on this show. Absolutely. But I think what we're going to do is we're going to do these commentaries sporadically. It gives us a break from, like, reading and stuff. So, all right. Uh, Let me know when you're ready, and we'll get going here. I am ready. have my remote in my hand. All right. Uh, Five, four, three. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, go ahead. Five, four, three, two, one. One. And I have a lion roaring right now. I have a lion right behind you. So I'm a little, not far off. I think we're good. I can see if I can turn my volume down. 
Oh, this nudity. Oh my god, nudity from the 30s. I mean, the 50s, see? Neanderthal, man. It's written like Bonanza. We got Robert Shane, Joy Terry, Richard Crane, and Doris Merrick. Well, if that's not an all star cast. Yeah. It, any are any of those people known? Like, do you, have you ever heard of any of them? I don't have a clue, sir. But I see a lot of squatches in these woods. Got to circle them. This sounds like, like Native American war party music or something. It makes me think of our good friend and buddy Irma Gersh. Kind of does. Yeah, I could see him like power walking to this. Maybe around his yard with his BMX bikes. He, Heroes whizzing by. I love how like so many things that he'll share. He'll be like, Ninja, I need to see this. Here we go. Oh, we're getting a voiceover. We're getting we're getting set up here. Some pretty scenery. Sounds like the beginning to like a nature documentary. Yeah, it looks like a, like it's gonna be a squatch like a Bigfoot movie, but we just know it's not. It's a Neanderthal cat. Yeah. Guy's really into his work. Yeah, he is. I wonder if we're supposed to think he's the professor. He's drawing wieners. Oh. Oh my god! His cat's in heat. Like yours was? Yes, that was. it's been hell. Get your cats fixed, people. Yes. Save lives like Paul Parker. That's right. Okay. Or so. Drew Carey, since dad, my dad and I always watch Price is Right, he says the same thing. Oh, that's good on it. I think it was like in his contract, I read somewhere that he had to say that at the end. All right, what Which trash? Had spayed, neutered, and continued... Or, Something about the pet population. Or otherwise, your room will look like this poor man's. And this it will smell like, like cat pee. This sounds like Tarzan music now. Ether. Oh. This cat's an ether sniffer. Oh my god. Hottie alert. Is she really? If you're into Ethel, like on uh, I Love Lucy, maybe a little. That sounded creepy, didn't it? I always figured she'd be like kind of plain looking, was she? Yeah, I think it was in her contract, like she was supposed to be. She I was like that show. Bu- she was buxom. I don't think that. I think that's the way you would describe it. Oh, okay. She was a buxom beauty, see? Yeah. <laughs> It's like a Kennedy. All right, this guy's serious. She's serious. Seriousness here. She's pissed. All right. Welcome to a film by Disney. <laughs> Young Travis Crabtree's out here making it. Oh, call. I can't wait till oh. we get to Travis Crabtree. Oh, there's another cat. Uh, this cat sounds big, dude. He sounds mad. Oh, like, the nose arc howler. It's a Latrobe lion. Yes. The funny thing is, our high school football, Ooh. our high school team is called the Wildcats. Oh, Tiger. <clears throat> oh, yeah. So, he's, what did it say? He's splicing the genes of a saber toothed tiger with a man. Is that how he does it? I think. No. <clears throat> he was turning a normal cat into a saber toothed tiger and something he has turns a man into a Neanderthal. Uh, now we're at a bar. Wonder if it, the cat's name's gonna be Battle Cat. This dude is literally dressed like Elmer Fudd. I'm hunting for wabbits and cats. And here we have a cowboy. Huh. This looks more and more like a show you'd watch, Jesse. So, like, how is... Okay, so the, the, the professor's British, and where'd this random cowboy come from? Uh, they're, at a, they're at a local saloon, a watering oh. hole. And this here, Elmer Fudd individual, is talking about he heard a roar and seen him a, some type of big cat. Is, that ca- is uh, the guy that sounds like the cowboy, is that Elmer Fudd? Oh, wait, I think it's that I know what you mean, I think. Yeah, the one talking. 
no one believes him. Of course they don't, because they can never believe you in these movies. I'm guessing this is going to be the probably the mayor. Don't know. This is going to be bad for the town. We got some something coming up here. Yeah. Big fish fry. Swinger convention. Pennsylvania, there'd be fish fries and pierogies. Pierogies. Do you know what those are? I think so. They're like dumplings that have like um, cheese and onions and mashed potatoes in them. Oh my god, I need a pierogi. They're really good. Oh, we heard the roar again. I am woman, hear me roar. This man has a good voice. He's very commanding. Yes, he does. He should be a podcaster. Talk about movies like this. Yes. They're mocking that guy has him. a case of the giggles. He kind of looks like the cowardly lion. See the theme here. Yeah. I'll tell you what, this film really blows your hair back. I know. It's, I'm riveted right now. It's fun. I wonder if Something's this is going to happen. I wonder if this is going to be one of those movies where, like, we don't see the Neanderthal man until, like, 45 minutes in. Oh, here comes the tiger. Yeah, maybe so. Or maybe right at the end. Oh, no. Here those windshield See, wipers. We knew that. Oh no, was... it's a saber tooth tiger now. Stuffed animal. Nope, now it's back it's a tiger again. <laughs> this this feline has the power to turn into a stuffed animal. And then back into a tiger. Is he randomly shooting at it? He's shooting in the general direction of it. I think the tiger's safe. I'm gonna rope him, then I'm gonna shoot him. I think they'll start believing him when people start dying in the town. I think it's the cement in black in this car right here. If we're going in a different direction. Oh, nope. It's Cowardly Lion, dude. Have you seen a wizard? I need to get courage, and my friend needs to get a heart. Looks like it was shot in him. Of course, in California. I wonder if we'll see that famous, uh, is it Caves or whatever that you see in all those movies in California? Mm. There's like that one location that's always in these old black and white movies, but I can't think of what it's called. Oh. <laughs> it's on the tip of my tongue, my friend. Oh, we have a giant litter box out here in the woods. We're gonna need a fifty pound drum of catnip. Next thing you say, there's gonna be a Neanderthal man running around here. <laughs> it's gonna be double trouble. Now if the Neanderthal man would ride the tiger. That would be amazing. Like I uh, That would I think that would be like make this the greatest movie ever. Well, I'm going to be kind of pissed if it doesn't happen. That's where my expectation level's at. Doesn't Prepared. it kind of have to happen? If like, it I does. Think it has to happen. I don't know. We could make it happen. It would take some hallucinogens. We could remake this movie with Cryptophiles pictures. Oh, we could do it. We could use our listeners. Those... those those two guys and one of us maybe my gal no she wouldn't do it you don't think she'd do it? no she wouldn't do it cats won't do it so it's, it's up to you to find her you're in charge of casting I guess we're screwed then damn yeah 
it feels like it's just going to be one of those killer tiger movies, and like that's what we're the Ar- the Anderthal man will show up for like five minutes. I'm gonna do it right now. I love how in these old movies they said Los Angeles instead of Los Angeles. Angeles. Dr. Ross. Hello. Dr. Bob Ross. Very Doctor by day, painter by night. This man that has epic hair. This hair can defeat the Neanderthal man. Like make a whip out of it. I love how these like older movies like this are really, really, really loaded with the dialogue. Yeah. Saves on budget for any effects. <laughs> and they always like describe like it's like it's a large cat family. Like they always go into deep detail about like their thoughts of try to do like the science behind it and everything. I'm kind of dependent. I can't hear real good because I, if I turned it up any louder, we probably would sound horrible through the show. So I'm depending on you for some of this dialogue, man. It looks pretty intense. He just said that he saw the cat and it's heaven's old truth. I've never heard that oh. one before. Sounds pretty true. You know who would be good to track uh, tigers? The Rifleman. I actually don't watch that anymore. So. They need to just quit arguing about this and go get that tiger. I know. They've been arguing for like five minutes, it feels like. This tiger is eating villagers. I love these things too. These, like we were saying, the dialogue, like it, they talk, 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 and it doesn't advance anything or go anywhere. Not one bit. <laughs> like you're literally walk not across missing. The street and do something, get a drink of water, and then go back and sit down. No, you're not missing happen. anything by, the, with the volume being lower. I don't, I just don't feel like I am. I, I trust you on this. I swear, this guy's tie is on, like, backwards. Okay, like, this guy's tie's on backwards. I mean, there's not even much I can really say about it because it's your not, tie, bro. Sorry. I don't know. I'm just saying there's not much to say for me to say about the dialogue. It's just kind of pointless. You know, another movie we could do is uh, The Curse of Bigfoot. And it was released in the 70s and originally shot in the 60s as an alien kind of invasion movie, I think. And uh, it didn't turn out very well. So in the 70s, they recut half of it with uh, some different teenagers and made it a Bigfoot movie. I don't think I've ever seen that one or even heard of it. Bigfoot. It's on YouTube. Oh, it's he's almost like made out of rock. (laughs) You know what else we'll have to do? Night of the Demon. Oh, yes. Like, we have to do that. That and Boggy Creek, for sure. Oh, my friend, yes. I don't know if anything can top this. Well, you know how you said about them going and getting drinks? There's, <laughs> he's ordering coffee. Now, they'll have a long, meaningless conversation. With these dames. Were they dames in the 50s? No, I guess they weren't. They were, well, yeah. They were probably broad. Were they broads? Broads. The broads. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Intro the show next time. Hey, guys and broads. 
Hey guys and dames. Dames. There's some cuties. Hi cuties. The guy with the good hair gets the cuties. I'm sure he does. Or does the Neanderthal man rip off of King Kong and take one of the... It, I think it did say that. Takes one of the women for himself. Oh. I think you read that in the... Uh, I'd already yeah. forgot. I think so, at least. I could be wrong. I think so. There was something about it. We just want to see Tiger Mayhem, please. Oh, she's planning a weekend with her fiancé. I bet they mm -hmm. die. Mm -hmm. Oh. No, probably not. There's usually not a high body count in the 50s, these 50s movies. <laughs> Oh, now he's talking about the evolution of early man. Hmm. They come from Starks. The Stark bring them down. There's some Pennsylvania accent for you. This looks like one of the houses from Little House on the Prairie. Well, I guess it wouldn't be. Laura Ingalls, assaulted by Sasquatch. On ice. <laughs> Coming soon to Disney on Ice, the Squatch Capades. Can you imagine Sasquatch's ice skating? Mm, they seem so graceful. I know. <laughs> They're said to move pretty good. Hey. Wouldn't that be something you're out on? You see a frozen lake bed and you see out there two uh, Squatch is doing their best figure skating. Yeah. Yes. And like another one standing there like holding enough fingers to like <laughs> score them. There you go. Coming soon to the crypto shop. Squatch flavored perfume or scented perfume. Orc is so light on his feet. That's just beautiful. There we go. The brain of the chimpanzee. Yes. I mean, do you realize how many, like, perfume scents we could make based on... I mean, we could have Skunk Ape. We could have the oh. Yeite. The Yeite. No, the Yeites are the worst of all. Yeah. Do we, We'll we have to wait to, like, let the general public and our listeners know. You know, the millions of listeners know what the Yeite... The Yeite uh, conspiracy takeover is going to be because it's... it's these are These are vicious. I mean, I've I've heard rumors that they are the the first scouting force of the Mantoids. Oh, oh, damn! I hope you didn't say too much. I was hope wonder if this guy's gonna get in. See, that's what he's talking about here. He seems like he does. This fellow looks like a turkey. <laughs> I am your average 1953 scientific man. Pearl Magnon, Neanderthal, and modern. These skulls don't look much different, sir. Who draw these? Those aren't good representations, sir. Bring in the skull drawer. Here's a random question. Do you think the Dyatlov Pass was Sasquatch's? Mm, I don't know. That's a good that's a good question. Because it just feels like that whole story just seems too like the way that some of them were dismembered and stuff, I don't think they just like died in the cold. Well, there's that movie. I mean, it's not. It's a. I have never seen it, but I know what you mean. It, and it was kind of like I think the uh, Russians had done some experiments around World, World War II with uh, interdimensional, and uh, that was kind of their theory on that. How was that? Was it any good? I loved it. Kind of a found footage. Um, Paranormal, all the kind of stuff we're always <laughs> watching. I, random, I randomly found this. I didn't watch it all, but there's a found footage movie on Lifetime. Devil's Pass. It's the about name of like, it was Devil's Pass. I'm sorry. Okay, it's about these this team that goes into like document the Amish, but it turns out like there's a, an Amish coven of witches. Huh. It's called Amish Witch. Which is Amish witch something. Amish, yeah, it's on uh, Amazon Prime, too, in the movies. It's in my queue. I didn't know it was Lifetime. 
Yeah, like, on mine, it, the on-demand is on Lifetime. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's in my Amazon key. That's funny. Is it pretty I watched, crazy? I w yeah, I watched, like, 15 minutes of it. What I saw was... All right, this guy's outraged. I am mad. Dude, look like a Russian czar. Maybe there's yetis in this. He just said, I'll show you such proof. It sounded like he said, I'll show you such poop. Oh. Like, at first I had a... Oh. I was like, wait a minute, what? Feces. Feces samples of this saber-toothed tiger that's... A regular tiger right now. It's gonna eat this deer. Right here we have the fecal sample. This is Sir Richard Attenborough. All right, now we're back in the house with the dames or the broads, as Jesse likes to say. In 2017, 18. <laughs> Wait a second, you're the. <laughs> that you introduce your uh, your lady when you're at a party. Hey, this is my broad. I wonder what her response would be on Friday if I'm like... Please do that. I was wondering... Yeah, but how... I gotta figure out how I can, like, work it in. It's a good relationship test. Come here, broad. I let my broad bring you a beer. Hey, dame. Bring me a beer. Ah, uh, their tiger's lurking. I need a beer for the second moto. You sounded so American right then. Well, I am American, sir. I just fizzed a little. <laughs> Wait, what? Why? I don't. It, it sounded good. I'm coming out of your mouth. Did it sound natural enough? Like I know what I'm talking about. Right. Oh, absolutely. No one, no one's still on the two-stroke bandwagon like Jesse. He knows the four strokes are killing the industry. Yeah. I actually know nothing about that, full disclosure. We'll get into that some Oh, uh, this guy knows. He knows. Oh, serious music now. He knows things. Oh, what's that smell? Donna? Oh. Is that was in the trailer? What I mean, it sounds like a cat, but what is that? I hear a kitty. He's in a he's in a lab here. He's in his lab. He's looking like he's kind of into this cat. I am doing he's experiments. His coat off. Okay, he's putting on his white lab coat. He's putting on one rubber glove. No, he's not. He's putting on a lab coat. He has a vial of Viagra for cats. Catagra. Oh, he's going to give a shot to something, dude. So he's, he's obviously doing some high-level cloning here. Oh, my God. Tampoids. Okay, we got a kitty. Let's see here. Oh, a little kitty. Is that... He's gonna, I was gonna it say implied that. he gave this cat a shot. Yeah. Cat Viagra. God, there's a lot of discussion with these dames. They drink a lot of coffee. Or it's tea, maybe. Disney should really get the rights to this and have Abrams rework it. Yeah, that is sexist. Such a sexist thing to say. Disney? When he, no, he... Uh, oh. I forget, he said something and she was like, I'm your fiancé. I forget what... No, I totally forget what he said. It was some... You gonna do what I want? You gonna do was, what I say? It was you gonna like it. It was some anti-Me Too movement thing. All right, here, dude. There was no Me Too in the 50s. There wasn't even You Too in the 50s. Okay. 
people knew their place, and you got a sandwich when you wanted it. This woman's here to bring a sandwich to these men. You could get a sandwich when you wanted it. Now it's called get up off your ass and get one. I'm hearing things wrong because I think he, he, I think he said. Oh, it just ruins it. (laughs) I think he said Professor Oaks, but it sounds like to me it sounded like he said Professor Strokes. Hey, I kind of like that name. That is kind of funny, isn't it? Yeah, Professor Strokes. Hello, dames. This is Professor Strokes. So does that mean there's two saber tooth changing tiger things out in this wild? I mean, might be, he's, so that's an infestation. That is. That needs to be put down. See, he says the right word, Los Angeles. He wasn't like that other guy that said Los Angeles. Angeles. She looks so outraged, like sitting here in front of these candelabra things. Certain, they, they love this certain shot because they've used it like eight times in the past 40 seconds. She just looks she looks pissed, dude. Maybe she's pissed about like the placement of them or something. Maybe she's heard our show. Can you imagine if like someone had a time machine and they came here and listened to our show? Ooh, maybe like the future is awesome. Sexy. It's a sexy future. They'd be like, these two men are are quite the lookers. There's an angry woman in there. Oh, my God. That is totally a 1950s thing. Instead of saying, you know, I wish your father wouldn't argue, she's like, I wish he wouldn't be so arbitrary. Oh, very proper. Everybody in the Bigfoot world needs to quit being so damn arbitrary when they're going to Walmarts and getting their (laughs) Bigfoot calls and their scent markers and they're finding Bigfoot t-shirts and Walking Dead t-shirts. Stop being so damn arbitrary. (laughs) Random Walmart person, what do you think of gifting bowls? You know who friended me on Facebook the other day? Matt Moneymaker from Finding Bigfoot. Wonder how that happened. I don't know. You know, the Bigfoot episode 100 is going to be the last episode of the program. I guess I sent that. Maybe I sent the friend. I had to send it. I don't remember doing it, though. I was like, oh, he found you. Cool. Yeah, I've had my opinions on the show and everything, but I like his enthusiasm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I want this guy's honey jacket. He looks like he's got a plunger stuck in his pocket. He might. Maybe just in case of toilet issues. Hey. Is that a plunger you know, or are you just happy to see me? You know. I'm thinking of the Rawhide song, Plunging, Plunging, Plunging. Keep that toilet plunging. He's going to destroy that commode if Jesse is destroying it. Right. I did not destroy that commode, sir. The tiger is being quite arbitrary. You, you were wearing a kimono. Oh. 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 Oh, oh some... no. I don't want to see that. We got some action finally. Oh, now it's teeth grew again. It's a saber, dead saber tooth tiger. This is awesome. Not that they. No, that's just excessive, sir. Fiction. Oh, Isn't it's. A... already dead. There's going to be some pictures of this dead tiger stuffed animal thing in our group I promise you why does it look bad oh my lord I don't believe crypto doggy Lucy would even play with this stuffed animal probably not I swear we're not going to see the Neanderthal man till like the 50 minute mark yeah this was a great movie thanks for listening guys everybody's safe It was Beauty that killed the Beast. Yes. And it's Ty. I remember I was when I was little, my mom and I, when I was like real little, we used to watch the Ron Perlman Beauty and the Beast TV show. No, with, uh, with uh, what's her face? It's eluding me right now. Linda Hamilton. Yeah. Oh, that's right. That's who that was, wasn't it? 
Yeah. I watched the heck out of that, too. I remember, I forget how old I was, but we used to, like, that was one of the few things we'd make sure we watched every week. The sewers were neat. Vincent was his name. Yep. He was kind of cryptid No, you know, uh, something or I'd like to see old episodes of that. I don't remember anything, really. I'm not a hunting man. I prefer the less vigorous hobbies like dame hunting. Oh. That car is a dame magnet. (laughs) (laughs) So I'm like not sure about something. What's that? Is it the main professor guy that was injecting the cat? Yes. Okay. I think. Yeah, Yeah, Killbot, stop being nonsensical. I'm just trying to use the the 1950s lingo that they're using. You're just, you're just being arbitrary. Like a dame. You're being a big dame. Instead of a prima donna, I'm a big dame. Shoot that stuff into that deer, and you have a big weird deer. That'd be awesome. Or it could be an alternative lifestyle deer, and be the queer weird deer. <laughs> I mean, not alternative. It's whatever. But just saying, you know, you get queer eye for the straight guy. You'll have queer deer. I on see beer. like so many so many people on Twitter that I follow. I follow like random YouTubers and stuff like that. Uh-huh. Everybody's like obsessed with that queer eye show that's on Netflix. Is it the same dudes from the show? I don't know if it's exactly the same, but I think it's the same idea. Oh, oh he's real serious. He f- refuses to believe the supernatural. No. Oh. I only believe what I can see with my two skeptic eyes. Those guys are too pretty to be out fighting ghosts in those hot rod cars. Do you ever get into Supernatural? I've seen, like, the first ten ep. I mean, I'll get get through it all. I mean, there's so much of it. I like what I've seen, though. I've seen two or three. What's that? I've seen two or three of them, like, when it started. Yeah, I've heard one of the most recent seasons they did found footage. Oh, cool. I like Jensen Eccles and uh, Jared, however you say his, Padalecki, Padalecki, whatever. Like both of them in different movies and things. So, so yeah, I've always been some. I know the, the ladies like them. The dames, they like they like the supernatural the, boys. Yeah, yeah, they do. I have a someone on a friend of mine on Facebook. We went to school together, and she's all about that. Like, goes to the conventions and does all that stuff. Ah, uh, cool. My friend Vicky, she's pretty much. Well, you know Vicky. Yeah. Love uh, Supernatural. I think they. She was talking. Was it her talking about? They did a Scooby Doo episode. They did, and I kind of wanted to see it. It was like it was yeah. animated. Did you ever see the Scooby Doo Kiss episode? No, I've heard of it though. I've never seen it. See that. And I've also heard that newer series. What is it? It's on Netflix, I think. Scooby Doo mm. Mystery Inc. or something actually has the creatures and ghosts are paranormal. They're not like. The humans, oh, cool. like usual. I just, I mean, God, if I wonder if it was always old man Crenshaw. Like, I know that was the big thing and everybody was into it, but, like, uh-huh. little me, like, when I was four and five, hated the fact that it was always people. Like, I wanted it to be a ghost. Oh, I agree completely. Yeah, I agree completely. That's why, like, I like the newer, the newer animated movies I've seen because it's, like, actually witches and zombies. For a lot of us, that was our, our kind of our entrance to horror here. You know, yeah, that's what I. I mean, that's what I've heard. In the monsters, you know. I love the monsters. This guy's going here. He, I think we're going to see a Jekyll and Hyde thing from the professor here. I think I that's think what's right. going. Yeah. Yeah. It it, like a movie that would have been on like the old horror house TV shows. Absolutely. I think we're going like to see a time lapse change. His face hasn't moved. He's 
he stayed in this position. So do you th- is the professor going to become the Neanderthal man? I think so. He might have already been, and I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Let's no, I don't see. Think it's do me be. a favor when you see it. Note the time, because yes. I'm going to put my bet that it's we're at least 50 minutes in before we see it. I don't know. Okay. Because I think YouTube shows the time, right? Or not. Maybe it doesn't. Yeah, it will. Yeah, no problem. Oh, here's a cat. This cat's freaked out. It's a cat's like the things I have seen. Come on, dude. We are 35 minutes in, according to my YouTube. Okay. And we have yet to see the Neanderthal man. He's looking a bit disheveled here, maybe. Cliff, I beg you, wonder if he's related to... uh, Bringing it back to Finding Bigfoot, Finding Bigfoot's Cliff. Oh, like first name brothers and cousins? Yeah. Oh, this cat knows. This cat's like, oh, it's Cliff. Or Cliff from uh, the Cosby show. Oh, 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 oh Cliff. What's your pudding pop? I was just going to say there's so many pudding pop comments we could make. Oh, here we go. I think we're gonna we got something going on here. He's got he, he's got his syringe here. I swear that cat's in heat. Oh, I hope not for him. Hey, here that's we go. animal abuse, subjecting. bastard. Oh, all right. I thought he already made the saber tooth tiger. Though, why is he doing it again? He's shooting himself full of it. He just injected himself. Was that him meowing then? No, he's got a cat in a cage. Oh, okay. Despite all this rage. No. Yeah, no, he's, and he's changing. Here we go. His oh, face is... I was wrong then. Here it is, we go. This is happening now. So about 40 minutes. He's got long fingernails. Dead, so I guess I'm kind of right. Look at the amazing transformation scene. This is kind of cool. Definitely time lapse here. Kind of cool. Cat's not enjoying it. Oh. I that actually, cat is pissed. Like, oh. He's all Neanderthalled out. He's fixing to head out on the town. Gonna go pick he's, up some games. He's kind of chimp like. It's kind of a chimpanzee a little. All right. Out full, fully dressed, which is awesome. A hundred. We've got a cowboy with his dog out here. Which are about to be violate now. I'm sorry. I just saw your Facebook message where you asked me if I saw the Phoenix tapes. I did not see that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you guys see that. Okay, here we go. Oh, this thing's cool, dude. Doesn't look like a mask at all. Oh, man. He's wrestling with the dog. Oh, no. This is a convincing fight. This dog's tail is wagging. He's ravaged the dog and the man. He's off to ravage some more. They're drinking more tea, dude. Are you there? Hello. I think we've lost Jesse. I wonder if it's still recording. Jesse wears pink underwear. Crotch. I do. I do not, sir. Oh. All right, this dude's just sitting here at the table. I guess he's changing back 
from Neanderthal man to human. That'd be kind of a different power. Now, wouldn't that be kind of like, do you, and you're the superhero mate guy. I know nothing of anything. The Marvel's, is it Marvel's Sasquatch? Yeah, I don't know much about him, but yeah, that is, Mar that that is Marvel. This is a lot like that story, isn't it? Isn't that a guy who can turn a professor who can turn himself into a Sasquatch? I think so. I'm not. Sh I'm not sure actually. I'm gonna find out someday. Look it up on the Googles. I don't trust it. They're watching. The transgender Muslims are gonna get my guns. <laughs> I want to hear that voice bitch more about Walmart. That was funny. <laughs> my people what are you what what is the, okay uh, southern person that talked on the commentary what do you think of the walmart dvd bins oh i like digging them sometimes in three in 388 bins is where it's going on at got them already they had 388 bins 388 did you find some good finds there over there by the dog's food that that old Roy's just as good as any Purina. I don't care what anybody says. What? Have you found some good deals in the 388 bin? Oh, I got Lonesome 1, 2, and 4. Oh, that's good. This guy's skeptical about something. He's talking about the do that the dog was killed. That's some bullshit. It was some bullshit. I'm mad. The dog went happy. That helps. Yeah. I think this girl's favorite word is father. Like, that's literally every dialogue she has starts with father. Like, I, we know he's her father. Oh. Oh, so dad's the one all going all... Dave Manny at night. Yeah. Oh, all right. Now we're getting here. Okay. Got to pay attention. This is one of those deep ones, man. I know. It really takes, you know, the plot twists are endless. It was all a dream. It was all a dream and they were all dead to begin with at the beginning. Oh. And the the one person was in a coma, so everything that they experienced wasn't real. It was all under hypnosis, and they were sticking other people's brains in other bodies when they got and, old. And silent green is uh, soylent green is us, or whatever that quote is. Oh. I'm trying to think of all the random cliched spoilers that I can. This is totally off topic for the show, Rose or for the the movie, but I'm really getting into uh, the Twilight Zone. The OG? The original? Yep. Yeah. Are you going in sequential order? Yep, I started on Netflix. I'm on Did you get to 19. William Shatner in the diner? Uh, no, I don't think so. That's it. You'll see. Like, I was watching Alfred Hitchcock, too, but a lot of those are super similar, whereas I feel like Twilight Zone are all vastly different. Mm -hmm. So it kind of holds my interest more. Did you watch the uh, 80s one or 90s, whatever it was, with uh, Forrest Whitaker? No, I've never seen any of that. I've seen a few. I, did you read that? Is Jordan Peele doing something in Twilight Zone? I had seen that, yeah, but I'm not sure. I haven't seen much about it since. I hope so. We had Showtime when I was younger, and I was a really big fan of the 90s Outer Limits. Oh, yeah. We are controlling your TV. We have the vertical and the horizontal, or whatever the hell it said. That was creepy, yeah. Yeah, me too. It tells from the dark side. That intro just freaked me. Ugh. I think that's on Shutter, isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah. Or it was, I guess it is. They don't seem to remove stuff on there, I don't think. Yes, we're talking about random other things because there's not a whole lot to comment on on this. Yeah, we're we yeah. 
if you're here for for uh, concise commentary on this film, you probably went the wrong place. I think with something like Boggy Creek and Night of the Demon and stuff like that, we'll have far more to say. Like it's more relevant because more yeah, things kind of more things happen. Yeah, more like when the monsters on the rampage is when we hey cheer and everything. Or like I know I released it. I don't know if you could still find it. I forget what it was under. It might be the Horacopia feed where we did Creature from Black Lake. Like, we had a lot of fun with that one because there was more to talk about. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dennis I, Fimple. <laughs> I really love that, like, that style of movie. Like, it just speaks to me or something. Oh, I love the hokey 70s Bigfoot movie. Yeah, like the Backwoods stuff. <laughs> like, is, yeah. is Curse of Bigfoot like that? Oh, absolutely. Uh... It, okay, well, it, picture this mixed with a little bit of that '70s hokey, oh, okay, good feeling kind of. I don't know. So, it's kind of a feeling with those movies. <laughs> if Katie Where? is oh. the one and is going to be Mrs. Bollinger one day, don't you think I need to show her Boggy Creek first? Of course. Well, well in advance. And you gotta wear this mask. Yeah, you'd be yeah, yeah, Boggy what? Creek. But yeah. I see. She can sit there. My gal watched it once, and she'd seen it, I think years ago, and she won't watch it again. And she don't like the music. Well, Lisa needs to, or maybe I shouldn't have said her name on the show. Oh my god! Oh, she's gone. It's a, I got a different gal now. Oh, I didn't. That was know like that five way. gals ago. Yeah. Why didn't you? Why didn't you tell me this? I, I thought we were uh, brothers. Yeah, I might be back with her by the time this airs. Okay. I heard that. uh Someone asked you questions based on your uh, Facebook info. Oh, that was weird, yeah. yeah I so. forgot all about that because you had told me about that. I'm right? still not convinced it's not someone else we know doing something under fake. Um, oh, it definitely is. So. No, this one. This is a different one. Oh, 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 oh. I don't know. but Okay. This I'm, was thinking a, the, I'm thinking the one that's named after a uh, cherry soft drink. No, no, not that one. Oh, okay. I don't oh, know. Oh, she got that. that. I think that one got that nasty woman disease. There's something like unnerving and scary about cats when they like, like when you, when you hear a cat fight outside, it will like make your blood run cold. Oh God! Have you heard them making love? Yes. There is nothing. That. There is nothing more creepy than like we had a female cat when I was little, Coco. There was nothing more creepy when the male when she was in heat and the male cats were around outside. Like it sounded <laughs> like it sounded like children like crying at times. It was so unnerving and weird. I feel like a lot of the ladies do that before these shows come out, and they're waiting for you to release them, and they're just sitting there at their phones going. Rah! It's funny, like, before... Maybe not. Maybe not. Before I was, you know, in the relationship I am now, like, that was always the thing. I was like, it would be so awesome to, like, become involved with someone who was, like, a fan of one of the shows. I don't know why I always thought that would be cool. <clears throat> well, it could have its drawbacks. Yeah. You never know. But then I kind of got that because the person you I was with, the, I kind of got that because the person I was with would listen to the show, and that turned out a disaster. So yeah. Oh. Finally, somebody's feeding this cat. I know it's been like the whole movie, and no one's fed him or her. Worst we, cat have to, we have to be gender gender ever. neutral here on Cryptophiles. Complete gender neutrality. I don't know why, but oh, I ran. I randomly want to see an old big nice headshot. Is this oh, Melba? Really? Yeah, it's like Melba's headshots. Sir, what if she's a guest on this show someday, and you you said that? Oh, he has turned this woman. He has pictures of a woman. He has turned into a Neanderthal woman. Oh, she looks like... Wow. So he actually did it, or is it pictures? 
Um, he has done it, but it's pictures of a woman he has turned it at They're some gonna point. They're going to mate, man. They're going to mate. It's going to be oh. like 1953 level mating here. On the back of that tiger. Yep. Oh my god, yeah. Corpse. It's dead, but still. I wonder if the tiger's tux, tusks Oh, it's her. Old. It's 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 the daughter, I think, maybe, was turned oh. in. I it's forgot to do it to the fiancé. This has a little tinge of Island of Dr. Moreau. That's a movie I've always wanted to see, like the old 30s one. Oh, yeah. There is an uh, 70s one, too, that was really good. And I think Burt Lancaster was Dr. Oh, really? Mark. It was really good. That one. Yeah, I, I grew up like watching that. They played that a lot, like how they'd play King Kong 76 a lot. I haven't seen that either. Like, I know I, you're, I remember just, he's oh. seeing you, Zane, you're a fan of it. As long as you've known me, you've known it. I love that. Doesn't that have, um, oh, God, what's your Shania name? Shania Twain. No, from, just uh, Yeah, from American yes. Horror Stories. Yeah, she's young and, yeah, really easy on the eye. I was going to say, was she a pretty woman when she was younger? Very much so, yeah. And uh, J- uh, Jeff Bridges is in it, too. The dude. Yeah. You know, I've never seen that movie. He looked like the dude. No shit. Oh, wow. I've always heard it's good. It's one of those ones like I've just never seen. Whoa, we have... Is she naked? So oh, it's we have a bathing right? beauty here. Uh-huh. Went pornographic, dude. What's Can up? you imagine like pornographic movies oh. from that time period and how they talked, like the dialogue? Yeah, it was kind of like that. Betty Page. He totally has a Frankenstein scream there, growl yeah. there. Yeah, he's wrestling with this dude, the gal and the, uh, the dame here, and the. Well, I don't think she was in a swimsuit. I don't know. Shouldn't he be able to like easily up. win that? He choked him down. His big Neanderthal hands. <laughs> yeah, his his growl was totally like Frankenstein. Nope, now he's got her, dude. I told you, it'd be like King Kong. Or is he trying to kill her? It's like Willow Creek. No, nah, he's taking her away. I think he's fine. Unhand away. her! He's going to do arbitrary things to her. She's going to become his lover. Answer your phone. God. It's like the first phone. See, they didn't even have to worry about telemarketers back then. That must have been nice. There's just something about the look on this gal's face that just makes you... You're not a fan? Yeah, she just looks pissy. Does she have hashtag resting bitch face? No, kind of a resting... It's like she forgot something in the basement. She has to go down and get it. It's like that constant... She probably oh. forgot her lines. Oh. And her grandkids going to be listening to this podcast. We're going to get an angry letter. Could you imagine if that actually had like they vanity searched like the movie title she was in? Yeah. Well, you shouldn't have said that, Jesse. The weird part was you sounded like me when you said it. <sighs> Did I really? When I said which part? No, I'm kidding. Nothing. I'm sorry. You're like, why did you say my granny had resting bitch face? You can't even see her face. You're blind. Why do I make it? It was that bad. Why do I make everyone Southern? You do. I do. And it's nothing against Southern people. I, I, no, it's your, it's your East coast. It's your, Hey, I'm, I'm mid Atlantic kind of. I don't think I'm East coast. That ain't even a thing. They did mid Atlantic. What is that? Okay, I guess it is a thing. It's your it's your mid Atlantic supremacy. Yeah, because as long as you've known me, I'm be I've been a, a very big advocate of supremacy. Of Atlant- yes, of your Pennsylvania isms. Maybe we're not mid Atlantic. My geography is terrible. I don't know. I just don't think we're no eastern. Bandages. 
Can I picture you at Martha's Vineyard with the Kennedys? I don't think I'd really fit in there. You'd be off wandering the woods looking for Kennedy squatches. Yeah, could you imagine if they're like, what are you doing here? I'm squatch hunting. You know how there's movies, The Blind Dead, there should be a movie called The Blind Sasquatch? There you go. Where it uses, like, echolocation and sonar to find people. Cool, cool, cool. You know, being ravaged by this Neanderthal man really affected this woman. So did he let her go then, I guess? Hashtag her too. Maybe she freed herself with Neanderthal man mace. Spray. I want to, I want to, I don't know if I doubt they would answer, but I want to tweet the Bigfoot, the Bigfoot, and see what his opinion on me too is. <laughs> you sure you want to do that? <laughs> I don't know. I want to like ask him. I have to get back on Twitter for this. I love Bigfoot, the Bigfoot. That's like the greatest thing ever. Like it'd be something random, like people in the people in the middle of the road. I shake a tree to get rid of them. That's the end of my day. Like sometimes he's like super sad too. So apparently, if I'm following this right, he left the girl that he took away go. Or was that a different girl? I'm confused. The end of the woman. Yeah, he carried that woman. Go. Off. Well, she wrestled free, I guess. She you probably showed him his, her unmentionables, and he like was so shocked and awed that he stopped. She probably had on the crypto files uh, lingerie. It's gonna be coming available out. now for nineteen ninety nine. PayPal crypto files. I forget our email address. And if you want Jesse to wear it, that's an extra twenty five dollars. <laughs> what the hell is our email address? I think it's the cryptofiles at gmail dot com. That's it. And if you want us to sign them, it's an extra twenty five dollars each. So like it would be seventy five dollars if you want us both to sign them. Well, Even dude, though my signing will just be a, a scribble. That guy wants you to wear their drawers for a weekend and then mail them to him. I don't know what that's about. I'm not doing that. We already talked about this. Oh, you're doing it. That's good money. I'm not, dude. I'm not doing it and sending sending it to Montana. It's not going to happen. We have bills, and you will do it. Send it to Montana. <laughs> That's exactly what you're going to do. <laughs> Got to. You know, I like parts of this movie, like the Neanderthal parts and everything, but it's just... I guess that's a symptom of the 50s and stuff. It's just super slow of parts, too. Yeah. So I'm just waiting to see this, uh, what kind of crescendos we're going to get here with the... The trailer made this seem like there was a lot more rampaging Neanderthal action. Yeah, they put a lot of thought into their trailers back in the day. I think way more than the movie. Yeah, they really did. What are, a violent what are, onslaught what? of action. Wouldn't it be funny if someone totally different that hadn't even seen the movie like did the trailer? We should do a trailer for our show like that. Oh, absolutely. And get like that voice over get that voice over that they always have like that. Our dames aren't arbitrary. There's just something about this lady's face. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I think that's the takeaway for this movie is that lady's face. You should screenshot it somehow and like put it on the group you got it it will happen and be like what's wrong with this woman's but face? i'm telling you if her granddaughter comes at me you can say i told you to do because i just admitted it okay i'll say he told me to we're big fans of your grandmother like grandmother's work well she could still be alive i think right yeah Hopefully. Oh, yes. Yes. 54. We need, we need a Neanderthal man reunion for the show. 
we would drive to that in the crypto van. Yes. We'd have to set up our booth. Sell your drawers. Why does it always have to be my drawers? Why is it? Why is everything like that about me? Why is it always me? The public demands it. I don't write this stuff. Well, they might like yours too. No, it's off the table. It's not an option. You just don't want to do it. You're gonna make the poor blind man do it. That's right. Because you're like what he's what he can't see won't hurt him. I'm your drawer pimp. You want those drawers, people? You got to come through me. And you'll like it, Jesse. Why would I like posing in drawers? It empowers you. That's what you said. I am blind man, hear me roar. Sitting here in my drawers. <laughs> Look out, Katy Perry. I don't know where else to go with that. So. It goes with this, and it goes with this movie. He's got okay, the drawers could, of Could you tiger. imagine if I wear the drawers and I come right. out, like if we did like a stage show, I come out on stage listening with Katy Perry's Roar song, like blasting. Oh, she's beautiful. Who, that when, woman well, or Katy Perry? Both. Oh. You're going to do that now. You need to hypnotize her and get her to remember. That's it. And maybe get some hypnosis for yourself with that nasty hit cigarette smoking habit. And you just threw the cigarette down on the floor. That could start a fire, you pig. You know, carpet's not free, bro. Sorry, that's the that's the fireman's son talking in me. Yes, fire marshal Jesse. These cats are pissed like the whole movie. They are, yeah. Sounds like Gage, or not Gage, Church from uh, Pet Cemetery. I think Shoot we can that take woman, it. just like just, <laughs> just give her a dose of that. Just yes. for the hell, just for the hell of it. Just see what happens. I oh, think here, we can sum. Pork cat full of it. I think we can sum this movie up by saying it was 99 percent dialogue that like felt like it went nowhere. All right, what are we doing here? We're drugging this cat. Still drug this cat. Waiting to drug this cat. Probably gonna have some coffee. Oh, they had to go. It's like, they really. Oh, no, nothing. Talking to some doctor. About some doctor stuff. Oh, it's a turkey looking dude. The gobbler. The go <laughs> Sounds horrible. <laughs> Well, you say you look like a turkey. <laughs> look out, it's a gobbler. Uh, <laughs> I'm the gobbler. He, like, stabs someone. He's like, gobble, gobble. Good night, dame. For Christopher Nolan, we have Neanderthal Man. <laughs> Sorry, Christian Bale. <laughs> Christian Bale, yeah. <laughs> with a 3D... Oh, cat broke with, out. Oh, this cat. With a this 3D representation of Jared... Or of, uh... I almost said Jared Leto. Leto. Of Heath Ledger. Killed him in uh, American Psycho. Oh, That's right. now it's this freaking tiger. Cat is a tiger. And we have to turn it into a stuffed animal. animal. That's the only way to kill it. So now we have another killer tiger on a rampage. So that's what, two now? One's dead. They killed it. We had a Neanderthal man who's been making his daughter into a Neanderthal woman. And now they've made another Neanderthal tiger. Or not Neanderthal tiger. Saber-toothed tiger. 
And it's on I, a little loose. I man, feel like this movie should it. be called Something to Do with the Tiger because we barely see the Neanderthal Man, even though that's the title. You know, if it was called Neanderthal Man versus Sabretooth Tiger, I would have probably already bought the Blu-ray. You know, that title could very easily have been made for this movie. Even though they haven't faced off and probably won't. I wonder if Jordan has seen this. I think you have a Facebook message is in order. I shall ask. You know another random movie? It wasn't fit for this show, but I found on YouTube I've never seen is Plan 9 from Outer Space. You've never seen it? No. Whoa. If you ever do it on one of your podcasts, please include me, sir. Okay. I would I'm just totally... looking forward to seeing how bad it really is. Oh, it's awesome. I have an eight hour VHS in the name of it. it it's copied from a hundred years ago, but it's a the Ed Wood Marathon, just what I wrote on it. And it's like all the Ed Wood movies, even Glenn or Glenda's on it. Huh. And I watched that, I don't know, every few years. And I need to burn that onto DVD because it is going to get to where it won't play. And uh, Plan 9's on that. I love that. Orgy of the Damned, which is just pretty much women dancing around topless. How many uh, VHS do you have? Do you know? A mm, couple, uh, three, uh, probably 300 around that. Huh. I often like, wondered that. Like a dummy, I'm still buying them. So. Well, you're not the only one. A lot of people. I mean, I've heard of like a lot of people doing that. Yeah. Where do you Where do you find them at? You know where I go now is a Goodwill, just our local Goodwill, okay. and uh, they're five for a dollar. <laughs> it's kind of hard to pass that up. Every time there's a copy of the Bill and Witch Project there, I buy it. So I've got like four copies, five copies. <laughs> You're like you sound like someone else who bought every copy of uh, Blood on the Highway. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I got cool one. Blood. It's kind of cool. It's the Blair Witch. It's got that Sticks and Stone documentary from a uh, Sci-Fi I Channel. I remember that. Yeah, it's got that tape with it, and it's it's sealed. It's never been opened. It's still got the wrap around it. That's pretty I like, awesome. Ah. I, I left it because it's on the Blu-ray. That thing is anyway. So I'm like, ah, I'm gonna leave this sealed. There's probably ten million of them out there. I still pick them up. Yeah, but at least you got one of them. That's right. If you ever want one, I'm your guy, man. I'll hook you up, buddy. Do you still have a VCR? No, I don't. I wish I did. But we I have like all these family movies that I want to convert to DVD or digital. Oh, yeah. But I just have to find the service that's like the cheapest. Because like, some of that stuff I really want. Like me when I was little opening Christmas presents and stuff like that. I would love to see that. I want to see the pool. Oh, yeah. There are some videos of my aunt's pool. Like, we got a swimming pool here when I was probably in, like, junior high. But most of that stuff's my aunt's pool is the one I always talked about. Cool. This here, this scene here in the woods is kind of cool looking. Kind of reminiscent of uh, the wolf man when they're out hunting. Larry Talbot. Kind of look like it a little bit like the OG Wolfman or the remake? The OG. Although there were some beautiful scenes in that remake, actually. That's what I've heard. I've never watched it, though. Really? I and think I, you, I, I, I think you like the story in this, actually. The story in that one a little better, even. There's a little more to it. I recorded it, then I deleted it for DVR space, but I recorded I Frankenstein the other day. You know, I like I that. Know, I've always wanted to watch that. My gal didn't care for it too much, but I liked it. No wonder which which no, guy was that. Like, she liked, no, she did not like I Frankenstein. It was Victor Frankenstein she liked. I liked that too. I liked it a lot. Yeah. Harry Potter was. Oh, really they're good shooting as up that. our. They're shooting up our. Uh, I'm sorry to interrupt you, buddy. No, that's right. I was they're just saying. Uh, I think he's dead, dude. See, he was bar- like I said, he was oh, barely oh. in the move. He's moving now. He's back. You can't stop a good Neanderthal man. No. You can't keep a good Neanderthal man down. Really can't. You can always count on our man Neanderthal man. What if he was our mascot? I think he's. I think. 
I think he might be. I think you just said it. Neanderthal man. It's either him or... Well, she's not a mascot because she's a human, but... It's Maybe for him, him or Neanderthal. Sweet Prudence. Oh, sweet. Yeah. They shot him up, but maybe he's off licking his wounds. Yeah. Uh, he's hated that part. I'm really hearing things wrong because I know he didn't say this, but it sounded like he said Lee Marvin speaking. I don't that know would, why I can't hear anything right now. Today. That would be awesome to have Lee Marvin in. It's a go, take him down. He brings in the Delta Force. Yes. Could you imagine if he was hunting Sasquatches? No, they're, it'd be solved, the mystery. Yep. He'd have a dozen or so up on his Jeep. Stacked he would, to he would totally get to the bottom of it. Is he pro-kill? Yeah, it's Lee Marvin. Of course he is. Duh. God. People, I swear to you. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, he beat the hell out of this guy. There was a lot of grunting going on there. Oh, I thought that was you. No, that was the movie, sir. Oh. This Neanderthal guy just goes around beating the crap out of people. That's just what he, he does. does. He, he gets shit done, that's for sure. <laughs> Are the Jehovah Witnesses bothering you? Telemarketers. Yeah, get you in the end of all, man. Yeah, get in the end of all, man. man, like, beats the crap out of Jehovah's, Jehovah's Witnesses, then goes and does some Netflix and chill. Are you there? Yes. I had to. My tablet was dying. I had to plug it in, and everything just went dark. I didn't know if I'd lost you. Nope, I'm here. Is Neanderthal man here? I don't see him. I see Turkey man. Turkey man versus Neanderthal man versus saber tooth tiger. The gobbler versus ne Neanderthal man. Oh. He was once <laughs> a lonely. <laughs> this poor man. <laughs> <laughs> well, you keep saying he's turkey, man. <laughs> his name There's is something really funny about this. I'm sorry. His uh, name is his name is Finne Phineas T. Gobbler. <laughs> oh, that's going in the group <laughs> with a picture of this poor old man. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, it's, you a, some itch. it's a coming so coming soon for the episode. <laughs> the oh, he, he has a mystery solving crew, like uh, like um. Skip oh no, I feel it's Phineas T. Gobbler and the Daves. Ah. <laughs> uh, oh man, T, Phineas T. Gobbler and the games. Dames. Come on! What? It is I! It is Phineas Gobbler! T Gobbler, sir. Up. Uh, what if they fired over head and shot her in the face? <laughs> she just blew her to. <laughs> it's like shit, that was a misfire. It's coming right at us. Kill him! The yeah. Anathal man looks confused. Just in general. He's just sad. Prepare for lots of Anderthal Man references, people, because there this probably is our will be like forever now. I could have done with a little more Neanderthal Man action, though. Oh, here's our saber, not saber tooth tiger, Neanderthal Man. 
I think here's going to be a crescendo oh, of action here. Oh, Are they going to fight, do you think? I think they're going to fight to the death. Andrew Thalman's going right ahead. Okay. Oh, 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 here we go. Oh, it's a bloody battle. What if you, like, picked up a club and just beat it? It's like these people are walking up on them fighting, and they're all casual. Oh, no, maybe we should shoot now. Uh, eh. Ronnie, get the popcorn. This shit's good. Yeah, they're just kind of letting the tiger eat on Neanderthal, man. A likely scenario that probably happened. Probably did. In his. Oh, now, okay. He's eating enough. Let's shoot him. Oh, the Anthel Man looks rough, dude. I don't think he's long for this world. I think I want this on Blu ray. <laughs> I know. I'm kind of cut. I mean, cutting up for commentary reasons. Like, there's not a lot to talk about, but it's not bad. It really all kind of comes together. In it end. does. No, oh, he's changing back. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Coming soon to NBC, Phineas T. Gobbler is Neanderthal. <laughs> Starring... <laughs> Oh, oh starring, you're slaying me, man. Starring Susan Lucci <laughs> as the dame. This pussy's a Lucci. <laughs> oh, yeah. She got fed up that she never won the big one at the daytime Emmy, so she came to Neanderthal Man, the series. This should have got a series. What were the execs thinking here? The big uh, TV execs here. They had a winner right here. I cannot Call think. Me. I want to make a joke here, and I can't think of the the director's name. John Ford. It's on the John top of my Ford. tongue. Oh Jesus! Yeah, Howard Hawks and John Ford direct the first two episodes. Yeah, but like followed this by is the followed by Fred Ol Fred Olin Ray and Jim Wynorski. There you go. Oh, this movie's awesome. It kind of was. Like, yes, yeah, this there it, was. People it didn't have a lot of stuff commentary wise to like make fun of, but I think we did pretty good for our first commentary. Heck yeah, that was fun. I yeah, enjoyed that. I enjoyed the movie. I enjoyed the talk and this and uh, Phineas T. Gobbler. You know. Yeah, we're gonna def. I'd say we should do this. This should be a monthly thing. Yeah, let's do it. If you guys, hey, I'm gonna throw this out here to you without asking you. You know, you guys know. want us to do something? Hey, say hey, do something. Maybe something we ain't thought of. Yeah, if you, you know, guys have any movie recommendations. I mean, this, this is a this is a kind of cryptid related. It's a Neanderthal. Yeah. It's it's definitely cryptid related. It was fun, man. Yeah, it was. Um, we'll do this again in June, and then be back with the regular episodes. Awesome. I feel like it's not cryptid related. I know we do like some kind of paranormal. We do paranormal things on here. I'll bring alien stuff and. Maybe we should do Plan 9 since I've never seen it sometime. There's no reason we can't do that. There's a... Uh, there's Tor Johnson's cast kind of a squaddle. So, yeah. Is he like... Doesn't um, Edward D. Wood... Ed, Ed D. Edward D. Wood Jr. Or no, is, that his, is it D? Yes, I think so. I feel like I screwed it all. Doesn't he use him in other movies or just in that one? Oh, yeah, 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 quite a bit. I feel like he was, like, one of his people. Was that George the Animal Steel that played him in the Ed Wood movie with uh, Let me see. Johnny Depp? Because I mean, you're the wrestling guy. I thought you might know. Yeah, I'm not sure, but I'm going to look it up. What was It was just called Ed whoever Wood. Whoever it right? was. Yeah, whoever it was, man, channeled him. I think it was George the Animal Steel. He just passed away recently. Did he really? That's yeah. Awesome. He was, uh... My, uh, computer's deciding to freeze here. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Bernard. Let's see who What's played that? him. Sidney Portier. 
Oh, would that have been amazing or what? It's me, Sidney Poitier. Um. So yeah, you're right. It is George the Animal still. Ah. Right on. So uh, <clears throat> I think this has been the episode. Unless you have something else to add. No, just uh, thanks for listening. That was fun. Yeah, yeah, this was a lot of fun. It's fun to just like, like we said every month, like once a month, do that to just switch it up a little bit. Yeah, I was thinking. I was I was talking to my gal about this, like with our with our show. We're, we're more on the entertainment side of it. You oh, know, we you, definitely are. Yeah, we're not researchers, and I don't no. care sometimes what researchers are doing or necessarily what scandal is going on in the paranormal. No, I just like the tales, or Bigfoot or anything. I like the tales, and we both like the movies. And as people probably know, Jesse does movie podcasts too, and and I I think this is a blast doing the. Oh yeah, more fun yeah. side of this too, you know. I mean, you have to be. I mean, you have to have a little fun in your life. And I think there's enough like serious type things out there about this that, you know, we're a little different. Right. And uh, one thing I mean, I do want to ask on here: if any listener knows about this movie, I and mean, you look for it for me, and I think it was 1988, and it's called The Missing Link, and it's about a. Um, <clears throat> I guess it would have been Homo erectus's journey across Africa. And uh, it's pretty much just following a, a guy in an ape suit, you know, but a really good ape suit. And I can't find this movie anywhere. And if any listeners have this movie or know how to get it or whatever, I would really appreciate it. You just did wanna... you ask Mr. Bibby if he's ever heard of it? I think I did. Okay. And I don't think he had. I mean, it's out of print. There's just no way to get it. But I thought I'd throw it out there and ask I him. Looked... I looked. The way I've done it, I couldn't find it, so hopefully someone else can come through for you. Yeah, maybe somewhere, somebody out in the internet land. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, thanks for listening. Um, it was fun, and we'll do this. I mean, obviously, as Kelly said, we'll take suggestions. I mean, we have some ideas, but if there's something you guys want to hear us talk about what we watch, then, you know, let us know. 